Hi there, welcome to a new J Black Cult tutorial. In this tutorial you will learn how to make an oil painting effect, and we will also give a vector effect to the image without using the pen tool in Photoshop. We must first prepare the image. To do this, go to image, then image size, to check the size and resolution. Your resolution should be 300 pixels per inch. The size of your image should be more than 2000 pixels in width and height. Then press OK. Now, having your main layer selected, press Ctrl plus J to duplicate the layer. Hide the background layer and keep layer 1 visible. With the duplicated layer selected, go to Filter, Sharpen, and then choose Smart Sharpen. Now, change amount to 240%, and radios to 3. Change Remove option to Gaussian Blur. Then click OK. Now, with your layer selected, go to Filter, Stylize, and choose Diffuse. Change mode to anisotropic. Then click OK. Now, to give it an oil look to the piece, go to Image menu and choose, Image Rotation. Then choose 90 degrees clockwise. Then go to Filter, and apply Diffuse Filter again. Repeat this process until you flip the image completely. This process, will help the effect be applied to the image from different angles. After completing the rotation, we will begin with the step 2. To do this, we will right click on our layer, and choose, Convert to Smart Object. Press Ctrl plus J to duplicate it twice. You can rename the layers if you like. Select the bottom layer. Then, hide the other two layers. Now, with this first layer selected, go to Filter, and click on Filter Gallery. Inside the Artistic folder, choose the Cutout Filter. Change number of levels to 8. Then change, Edge Simplicity to 5. And change Edge Fidelity to 1. Then click OK. With your layer selected, go to Filter. Then Sharpen, on Sharp Mask. Change Amount to 150%. Change Radius to 2.0. And Threshold to 0. Then click OK. OK, now we can go to the second layer. Make it visible. Then go to Filters, and click on Filter Gallery. Choose once again, the cutout filter. This time, let's change the edge simplicity to 6. And click OK. Now, double click on this icon, to change the filter opacity of this filter. Change the opacity to 35%. Then click OK. Keeping our layer selected, go to Filter Gallery. With the cutout filter selected, change values to 8. 6, and 2. Then click OK. Double click on this icon, and change opacity to 35%. Then click OK. Now, reduce this layer opacity to 50%. OK, now, let's work on the last layer. Make it visible, and then go to Filters, Other, and choose High Pass Filter. Change Radius to 2.0, then click OK. Now, change Blend Mode to Overlay. This will give an extra sharp effect to the image. Now, select all three layers, and drag and drop to group them. Let's add some other details. First, add Levels layer. Drag these sliders and adjust them until you get the level you want. Now let's add some vibrance. Again, the setting will depend on the type of image you have. Finally, let's adjust the color setting a little bit. You can play with these settings, and get images with warm, or cold colors, depending on the style you want to give to the piece. 
Now, if you want to soften the image a little more, you can duplicate the main image and place it at the top of all the layers. Reduce the layer opacity to around 30%. Now, add a new empty layer at the top. Choose a soft brush, and a color you like. Then paint half of the image. Now, choose another color, and paint the other half. Go to blending mode, and choose overlay. Adjust the image opacity to 30%. Now, let's add one more empty layer at the top. Choose a color you like, and paint all the layer. Go to Blending Mode, and choose, Screen Mode. Adjust the image opacity to around 20%. You can play around with the Blending Mode and create your own final details. Let's try with the Lighten effect. Now, with the Lighten Blending Mode selected, you can try, and change the colors. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more tutorials or drawing videos.